did here, they're not using their full plate up, out. You, when you watch Stephen Curry, that's what he's an absolute master at, is he can finish here, 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 and he's a skinny guy, and he's not a crash guy. He's not really a guy that's looking for contact. But his ex full extension is just amazing. So, like, when you watch some clips on YouTube of Stephen Curry, watch his finishes and watch his fantastic extension. It's really, really great. It's a little detail, but I think it makes a big, big difference. Okay? So third one's uh, full extension. Now you can see. Okay? And then the last one is... Being able to use high parts of the glass. So this is another thing that Curry does. Now he doesn't do it every time. And also let me say that, you know, we don't, it's not a hard and fast rule that you're always, every time, trying to search the guy out, okay? It's when you've got a little advantage, if you see that he's coming in, okay, I'm going to try to bury him under the rim and take it to him, okay? So don't think of it as a hard and fast rule that regardless of where the defender is, I'm going right to him to initiate contact. But it's a, it's a, but it is a mentality that when it's close and he's coming, I'm not avoiding it because it's my advantage to initiate contact. So, and then the last thing is to use high off the glass. You know, so now when you've got big seven footers or whatever, when you're shooting high off the glass, that is a total non-factor because you're just shooting right over. It. Now, okay, you've got a guy who's behind you, full extended. Okay, then you don't need to use high off the glass. But I think so many, especially. Kids and smaller players don't take advantage of using high off the glass. To, for physics-wise, this is better percentages to you have a bigger target range and for shooting over bigger guys. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so let's